guys, Dave here. Welcome to Centurion's Review, the punk rock band of war game review institutions. As you guys all know, I am a fanatical micro game collector. These are the ones that I've actually played. I've got a ton more that I haven't played, and I've got some that I have played at my dad's house, and I also have most of the po postcard games I've uh, played in here, uh, too. And I have a bunch more that I haven't played or, or that I'm waiting to do uh, playthroughs on YouTube that aren't in here yet. But since I'm always uh, talking about my micro game collection, at least you can see a piece of it today. This is Transylvania from Mayfair Games. They misspelled Transylvania both on the cover and on the map. It's a good game though, but I'll never uh, let them live it down that they misspelled the name of their game. This is the ca uh, the castle from Mayfair Games. This is a real good one. Uh, I really enjoyed this one. It was a lot of fun. Here's Boarding Party from, uh, what's the name of the uh, Task Force Games. Uh, I was disappointed in this one, but it was still fun to try, even though it didn't turn out to be that great. This is Survival and the Barbarian. It's a double game. I think these were originally printed in a magazine. Uh, yeah, they're too simple. I guess they were good for a, uh, free games in a magazine, but as far as like a commercial pr product that you pay money for, yeah, they just weren't substantial enough. But they were, but when they were originally in the magazine, I guess they were fine. All right, let's go to the decision games ones. Border Wars Angola Raiders. That's a good game. Belisarius's War. That's another good game. Real good one. The Roman uh, Reconquest to Africa, A.D. 533 to 534. This is a good one. Pick it up. Cactus Air Force. This is another good one. Uh, I really like this. Uh, nice uh, aircraft game. Caesar's War. This is good. Pick this up too. Conquest of Gaul from 58 to 52 BC. Very simple but fun to play. I just reviewed this one last week. Campaigns of Montrose, A Year of Living Dangerously, 1644 to 1645. It's more substantial than the typical uh, mini game. I like it. Here's Series Operation Stolen Base. This was pretty good, but it's just it's good, but it's not as good as Phobos Rising. Congo Merc, that's fun. Th this might be the first mini game from Decision Games I ever bought. Uh, it's uh, a very simple game, but it's fun. Hawaii 1795, this was alright. This is the best of uh, the series, Quezon 68. Uh, I really enjoy this game. I've probably played it, uh, Jesus Christ, 50, 100 times. Kyber Rifles, uh, Britannia in Afghanistan, that's a good one. This one's uh, pretty good, Long Range Desert Group Special Operations against uh, Rommel 1941-42. A lot of these I reviewed on my website, so take a look at my website and just type in Decision Games at the search box and you'll see all the reviews I've done of these. Meg Alley haven't reviewed this one, but it's fun to play. Phobos Rising, this is probably their second best game. There's some people who don't like this game. Well, boo-hoo, I love it. It's a cross between a Euro and a War game. Some people have difficulties with the rules, but I've played so many Joe Miranda games that I'm able to decipher his rules pretty quickly. Red Eagles, this is a good game. It's a shame that... Uh it doesn't seem that popular. It should be popular because it's a good game, but for some reason, I guess, not that many people have an interest in it. I reviewed this two or three weeks ago. I think I did a video review of it. Rogers Rangers, America's First Commandos. Good game. Salfeld, I had mixed feelings of this. It's not a bad game. Uh, I don't know, it just didn't didn't feel like a mini game. Uh, the author was fixated on uh, zone of control rules and stuff. I don't know. It, it, I, just something about it. it. It wasn't for me. It's not a bad game, though. It just wasn't for me. Salem Church, this was so-so. Suez 56, this is pretty good, but it's not as good as uh, Quezon 68. Vikings, that was alright. see what else we got here. Uh, Melee, the new version, and Wizard, the new version from Steve Jackson Games. I reviewed both of those, too. Actually, most of these games you're seeing here I reviewed probably like... Uh, uh, 65-70% of them I've reviewed. Let's go to the TSR ones. This isn't my original copy of this. The original copy of this I got when I was really young, and it was the first war game that I taught myself how to play. Uh, my dad had taught me how to play a bunch when I was young, but this is the first one where I went out, bought it, learned it on my own, and played it, so that's cool. All right, Vampire. This is a little kid's game. Uh, there's quite a bit of interest in it because... Uh, 
I don't know, I think, I guess it has to do with the map or something, but I don't know, it's too simple. Icebergs, very simple game, but it was fun. Tech Force didn't like this one, really. It, it's basically a, a bite off of the Star Wars Death Star attack, but I, eh, it just didn't do it for me. I did a playthrough of this. This is a postcard from the Revolution, the battle for Brandywine Creek. When I bought this, I bought it used. I didn't know that there was a second postcard from the Revolution uh, battle that was supposed to be included with it, a second postcard, but I only got half, but whatever, better than nothing. Raid on Iran, this is all right from Steve Jackson Games. This is a really good one, The Creature That Ate Sheboygan. This is one of the best uh, SPI capsule games, if not the best. What else do we have here? I don't even know what this is. Must be some advertisement. Here's some postcard games. This is Castle Builders. This is a good one. I have an article on my website called The uh, Battle of the Postcard Games. If I recall correctly, this got second place. This was good. All right, Postcard Cthulhu, where's that in here? This, in that same article, I gave this the most creative. This is an interesting game. It's kind of hard to learn, but I had to watch the YouTube video to learn how to play it because they can't go into detail too much on postcard games and the rules since they're just on the back of the postcard. But once I learned to play it, I was pretty impressed. This I've played, uh, what is this called again? Uh... Not Men, but Devils, the Batter of Ca Battle of Cameroon. This is a postcard game. Uh, yeah, I didn't really get into it that much. I think part of it was because uh, I didn't have reading glasses at the time, and the type is really small on it, and they use a lot of uh, abbreviations and stuff, so it's kind of hard to read. I got reading glasses now, so I should retry it. Maybe I'll like it better when I can actually read the, the text without straining my eyes. This was a good one. Postcard Empire... Uh, very good postcard game, actually. Here's another copy of Castle Builders. There was a misprint on the back of it or something, so when you order it, he gives you two of them as a way of saying sorry for the misprint. This one's from Minden Games. Uh, what the hell is this one called? Silvo Denmark Strait. It's a ship game. Yeah, it was all right. Uh, I guess, uh, how would you describe it? It was boring. I mean, it was... It's a postcard game, and I never would call a postcard game bad because it's amazing that they're able to put a, a full game with the rules on a postcard, but it was all right. I don't know. It just seemed kind of boring, but... All right, which one is... Oh, this is a good one. I forget. Uh, Rat and Krieg. Um, on my other YouTube channel, I have a playthrough of this. This is a good one. Solitaire, too. Oh, this is a really good one. This is probably the best postcard game I've ever played. Uh, Morgan's a coming. Uh, yeah, it's just a lot of fun to play. It uses a deck of cards and stuff. I thought I, I just really enjoyed it. What do we have here? The Siege of Rhodes. Yeah, I played it. Yeah, it just didn't do it for me. This is a good one, uh, Salt on Sevastopol. Uh, I got a review of this. I might have a playthrough of it, too. I can't remember, but this, this is a good game. And it's made for beginners, too. Hell's Gate, this is all right, but it didn't have much replayability, and it had the Simon Says effect, where uh, the author's so worry about, worried about you getting a historical experience, he's b basically dictating what you can move on each turn and stuff, which I don't like at all. I wish with this game he had, uh, instead of just the one scenario, he had like a bunch of scenarios where you have the one that's the ultra historical and, and the uh, scenario number two, the one where you get to play it the way you want instead of the Simon Says. But I mean, it, it, was, a, it was a decent game though, but that's what I didn't, the, the issue I had with it. Uh, Battle for Italy, this was originally from uh, uh, Operational Studies Group, I believe. It's got a mounted map, which is impressive for a micro game, but uh, I'm not a student of the Napoleonic Wars, but uh, all the other Napoleonic games I played, I prefer to this. I'm not calling this a bad game or anything, it's just not as good as the others. This is an interesting game, Artifact from Metagaming. This one is uh, feels like it's a U.S. versus Russia on the moon, but it, it feels like African combat with... Uh, pickup trucks with 50 caliber machine guns uh, driving around in the African savannah shooting at each other. That's what it felt like. But th this is actually a decent game, and it's got quite a few scenarios, if I recall correctly. Lords of Under Earth. Uh, 
what was it? This is the game with the alerting mechanic where in most of the scenarios your troops are asleep and then you have to use troops to run around waking them up and stuff. Did a good job of the alerting mechanic. The other game that had the alerting mechanic was that Steve Jackson raid on Iran. Uh, this was alright. I think I had a video review of it. Not my favorite game, but it's not a bad game either. It's just mediocre. Operation Conrad. This is from Close Simulations. I think Wayne Close is that the guy from uh, Northbrook, Illinois, uh, made this game. I played this years ago. My friend Len said I was complaining that there was too much stacking or something, but uh, yeah, I gotta try it again. Mission Grenada. This is from Wayne Close, too. This is alright. Alert Force, another one from him. This is about uh, uh, Air Force uh, uh, security police uh, dealing with terrorists raiding a uh, airfield. Kind of an interesting game. Stalin's Tanks. This is one of the best uh, metagaming uh, games. I really like this one. This one here is really good, too. Uh, Ram Speed with the triremes and stuff. I bought a bunch of uh, miniature uh, triremes and biremes and stuff uh, that I want to use uh convert this into a miniature game and use those this is all right too Ramos panzers but i prefer stalin tanks but it's still a good game this is shooting fish in a well it's not called shooting fish in a barrel it's a escape from uh altazar uh from task force games uh if i recall correctly you're on an eight you're aliens on an alien world uh trying to escape from a prison and it's basically shooting fish in a barrel. If I recall correctly, you just have like a mob of uh, prisoners escaping and the uh, security guards are just shooting them down uh, like crazy. So that's why I call it shooting fish in a barrel. This is all right, though. This is just silly. This is Stamp from uh, Tadashi Ihara with the finger method of uh, instead of die rolls. It's basically a game where your elves and there's a giant walking around and your elves are trying to tie his shoelaces. Um, I collect micro games, so I had to have it, but it's kind of a silly one. <laughs> This one didn't do it for me, uh, Spellbinder, uh, basically a bunch of wizards, uh, and if I recall correctly, they have their own little army and stuff, uh, fighting each other. I don't know, it just didn't do it for me. This is a fantastic game, but I re it doesn't have a formal sequence of play, I mean it does, but it's not written out, so in order to play this game, I had to go through the rules and write out the actual sequence of play, and once I did that, it's a fantastic game, uh, Four Against Darkness is basically a uh, modern version of this that uses a, it's a pen and paper version of this. It would have been nice if they uh, mentioned that this gave them inspiration because some of the rules are exactly the same, but this is a great game. This was made by a woman, Bundeswehr, Northern Germany, late 1970s. It was all right. Reviewed that not that long ago. Prokhorovka. This was a good game. I haven't played it in eons. Uh, there was, I don't know if it was the artillery or the anti-tank guns. There was something about the way that they handled one of those two that I, I really liked. But it's been a while. Last Starfighter Tunnel Chase. This was alright. Basically, you got your Starfighter and you're flying around in tunnels trying to avoid hitting the walls and trying to shoot each other down. I think I got a how to play of it on, my ch on either uh, my channel or my old channel. One of the two. And this is Star Trek 3, the Search for Spock game. Ah, this was so-so. Outpost Gamma, this one was so-so too. I don't know why everyone pays so much money for these. Don't buy this game. Uh, just go online. Uh, I think Brainiac.com or something like that. He has almost all the games from... Uh, Dwarf Star, where you can download them and make your own. Just do that instead of paying the outrageous prices. None of the games in this series are good enough where you, you, uh, they should command the prices they're charging. But anyhow, here's the deck of cards I use with a few of the postcard games. Just wanted to show you guys part of my collection. There's a bunch more that I haven't played yet. But as always, uh, thanks for watching. And if you liked the video, please click like on it. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to this channel. And as always, have a good evening.